what is going on people it is your boy daddy mac and welcome back to our nut to another pokemon sword and shield wi-fi battle I almost said our next but we haven't had a wi-fi battle in a quite in, in quite some time because of the crown tundra so of course as you can see on your beloved screen we are bringing a brand new team to the table we're gonna start with the first pokemon and by the way before i get started i dropped my remote as i was saying before i was interrupted um I'm so sorry that the uploading schedule has been kind of iffy as of late. Um, my daughter in specifically hasn't been feeling so well without giving up too much uh, t uh, TMI or much information. Uh, she hasn't been feeling well and it's kind of interfered with my schedule. Of course, she is my priority. So I had to, I had to step back a little bit from uploading three times a week and focus on her while still trying to focus on this. And of course, work and all of the other situations. So. I am back and I'm going to have three Wi-Fi battles with this team. So of course today is Friday You're going to be watching this on Friday There's gonna be another Wi-Fi battle on Monday and another one on Friday Just until I can get back on to I'm back on track as far as this goes because my girlfriend is also going to school um, So yeah, it's been quite of a busy schedule after the crown tundra release So we're back with another team and at the same time no more team builders We're gonna stick right into Pokemon sword and shield Wi-Fi battling moving forward and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to finish some Mario. So that's that's on the schedule here. Now, to begin, we got your boy Blastoise. Now, our entire team, as you can see, except for Corsola, is all in a beautiful lure ball, starting with our boy Blastoise, who's holding a white herb. We got lucky enough to get a six IV, no shiny, unfortunately. And I was trying to hatch the shiny. I went over 3,000 eggs, and I have not gotten the shiny, unfortunately. So my shiny luck is kind of terrible. We're using Torrent Ability because this is going to be a sweeping Blastoise you'll see in just a second. 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed. We got Shell Smash because Shell Smash is actually really good on this Blastoise. We got Aura Sphere for coverage. Terrain Pulse. You guys saw that I'm running a Pin, pin Urchin in this team. And Terrain Pulse is there because of that. And we got Hydro Pump. And then, yeah, it, it's going to be a Modest Nature Blastoise. So our second Pokemon in this team it's gonna be a beautiful Pangora, a Pokemon I've been wanting to use for quite a long time, ever since X and Y came out, but I haven't had the opportunity to use them on a team. We're holding a choice band because this thing is gonna hit like a banshee, it's gonna hit like a truck. 193 base, uh, well not base, but 193 attack right now. And it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt a lot. We got 252 HP, 252 attack with the Iron Fist ability, which is gonna power up our, our Drain Punch and the Bullet Punch. It was really important for me to run the bullet punch given that this thing is really weak to fairy and it's just beautiful that it's going to be boosted by the iron fist so we got crunch and drain punch for longevity of course and earthquake now i have thought about running parting shot on this thing but i feel like having an all-out attacking pangoro is going to be a little bit more threatening as far as that goes next we're going to go ahead and bring in another pokemon i've been wanting to use for quite a long time that is going to be the beautiful dragon poison type Dragalgy. Now, Dragalgy is going to be holding a choice specs. This thing has insane special attack. Of course, not as much as Pangoro, but it gets adaptability. And this thing is going to do a lot of damage. We got 252 special attack, 252 HP, minus attack. So this is going to be a modest nature. Right now, as you can see, our team is a little bit slow, but it's going to pack a punch with it. And I'm hoping that our team is bulky enough or at least we play well enough to get to W. So the next Pokemon, which is gonna be the fastest Pokemon on my team is gonna be the Pinsir. We got Choice Scarf Pinsir, which um, is almost as good as Choice Scarf Heracross. I personally prefer Choice, Half, uh, Choice Scarf Heracross a lot better. And we got the 252 attack and 252 speed with the Moxie boost ability, of course. Earthquake, Close Combat, X Scissor and Stone Edge. Um, I think the Earthquake, the, well, basically the Quake Edge combo not a lot of things resist that so uh, that's basically why i have these two moves on this pincer close combat of course for coverage x scissor for stab it's gonna be a really cool pokemon to use another pokemon that we're going to be building around aside from the blastoise is going to be the pink urchin pink urchin i think that's what you call it So another Pokemon that we're going to be using in this team builder is going to be a beautiful Pinkurchin. 
Percussion, with as you can already see by the item, is gonna have the electric surge, and that's gonna help us surge to victory, no pun intended, um, with the terrain pulse with the Blastoise. So Pincursion is gonna be coming into the field. We are 252 HP and 252 special attack. Um, and what's cool about this Pincursion is that we're number one, we're gonna be having the toxic spikes, but at the same time, we got Venoshock to try to capitalize on these poisoned Pokemon. We got Hex to try to capitalize on the, on the spikes also. And we got Rising Voltage, which is going to be our primary stab attack, given that, number one, we got the Electric Surge going. And number two, we're an Electric Modest type Pokemon, which is going to hurt uh, relatively pretty good, in my opinion. At least, I'm hoping. So, that's the Pink Urchin. Finally, no need to explain this Pokemon. This Pokemon is absolutely hated by a lot of people, including myself, but I've never used it before, and I thought it was going to be a really good opportunity for us to try to use it. We got an Eviolite Corsola with, or Galarian Corsola, with 252 HP, 252 defense, of course, hidden ability, Curse Body. We got Curse for Shenanigans. Given that this thing is really bulky, we can honestly curse, take a hit, go strain sap, will o -Wisp, and then just knock things out with Nightshade. So this is kind of gimmicky, uh, yes and no. I think it's gonna work. Um, this Pokemon was jolly by nature, but I used a candy on it because I couldn't get my hands on a Lure Ball Corsola, I'm afraid. So we used the event Corsola that was on the, um, before the Isle of Armor release. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and start a Wi-Fi battle with this team. Wow. We found a Wi-Fi battle opponent, bringing Tristan, who's bringing a straight-up OU team. I have no OU Pokemon, so our team is going to struggle, uh, specifically with the Lando. And, of course, the Fermosa. And the, um, what's, what's it called? The Gosh Darn Zeraora. I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, I got a feeling he's going to try to start Landorus, though. So, right off the bat, we're going to start Corsola to try to get a Will-O-Wisp on it. Maybe take an attack from it. The Isle of... or Sorry about that. We're in the Crown Tundra. The Crown Tundra. We updated our LD card, by the way, as you can see right here. The music. Saucy with the trumpet. But the Crown Tundra brought in a lot of Pokemon that are 100% broken. Faramosa being one of them. That's a shiny Faramosa. That is beautiful. She reminds me a lot of... Um, Gladion's mom. I forgot her name. Okay, so I kind of want a Will-O-Wisp. I kind of want a Strength Sap also. I think we're going to Strength Sap to start things off because obviously this thing is going to outspeed us. This thing is packing a lot of attack, which um, it's not going to do anything to us. Well, um, U-Turn was probably the best attack I had to go to, to be honest. Depending on what comes out next, we're going to try to go for a Will-O-Wisp. If not, doesn't Corsola get Leech Seed? I think it's an egg move though. I could be wrong. I don't remember. I built this team when the Isle of Armor was around. And I have some teams planned out for the Crown Tundra release. But. See, right now, I kind of want to go for the. I kind of want to go for the. Um, what's it called? I kind of want to go for the, for the curse. But I don't know yet. I really don't know yet. So I think what we're going to do first. I mean, we got a Choice Scarf Pinsir that's gonna, uh, it's gonna do a lot of damage to it. We got a Choice Spectre Galgi. What is the move is the biggest question. I think we're gonna go Pangoro. If Mew tries to hit us with an, uh, uh, you know what? My Pangoro was supposed to be Assault Vest, now that I remember. I think it was supposed to be Assault Vest. Nasty Plop. Okay. That's highly concerning to me. That is very concerning to me. I obviously don't outspeed this thing. I need to sneeze. <laughs> Whew, I need to sneeze. I apologize about that. Okay. We're going to bullet punch. If this thing wants to Dynamax, we're not going to Dynamax right off the bat. Bullet punch. Choice banded. Heard it? That didn't do anything. Transform. This is gimmicky. Okay. Okay. I obviously do not want to go into Corsola here. For obvious reasons. A bullet punch is going to be neutral to it. That is... In Why did he go transform after going nasty plot? That absolutely makes no sense. That makes me feel... Well, I want to go for a bullet punch. Just to see what you're going to do. You're dynamaxing. And you're going for the fighting type move. Wow. Wow. Okay. See, now, here's, here's the kicker. 
Do I want to go into Print Urchin and try to get a, a sweep set up with the Blastoise? I don't know. I don't know. I, I also did some research. During this time off, I decided to watch some of my older Wi-Fi battles, especially my losing streak that I had going on. I'm down. I'm out and about. Um, but as I was saying, so, sorry, I, I got interrupted. Well, I, I got a thought process going on here because Pinsir might be able to knock this thing out. Assuming we outspeed, which I'm pretty sure we do, and just go for a close combat. Go for a close combat, hope for the best. Hope, hopefully it knocks out. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. Yes! One and one, you use your Dynamax, which is big. But as I was saying, I forgot what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, does transform also take my, my, um, my stats? I forgot, I forgot what stats I'm talking about, but like, um, oh yeah, base speed, base attack, base special attack. You, you know what I'm talking about. I think it does. I think it's safe to assume that it does, given that my, I outsped. Mew is, uh, if it's, I don't know. Okay, Heat Rank comes out. We're packing Earthquake, but obviously we cannot go Earthquake right now. And I'm not going to show the Heat Ram that I'm, I got an Earthquake packing on. So I think what I'm going to do here is go into... I really want to go into Burn Urchin. Go into Burn Urchin. Um, but at the same time, I resist the... I think I also resist the Steel Typing with Dragology. So we're going to go into Dragology here. We're not packing the Hydro Pump, unfortunately. But... Metal sound. Interesting. That is highly interesting. We probably won't be able to take an attack from this thing very well after that. Oh, we are packing the Hydro Pump. I kind of want to go for it. I got nothing to lose going for it. I'm going to go Hydro Pump here. Earth Power. Oh, that's super effective. I, I completely forgot Lando runs this. Can I hit this, please? Hydro Pump, it does. Dragology, you beautiful Pokemon. Just knock this thing out, please. It's not, unfortunately. And I understand why. I'm gonna go Hydro Pump again. I'm just gonna let Dragology go down. It did do a really good amount of damage considering that this thing is a practically a legendary Pokemon. Earth Power again. I do not mind this because next, I know he got Slanderous. I really want to try to go into Pinsir and get a close combat going. I kind of want to do that, but at the same time, I want to go into Pernurchin and just set up on this thing. I really want to do that. I'm going to go Pernurchin here. We're just going to set up the terrain. I don't think Toxic Spikes is worth it, mostly because... Mostly because we got this... Um, most of us seem really resistant, meaning immunity, because we got the Heat Ran, who's completely immune. We got Articunos in the air. We got, we got the um, Landorus, who's also levitating. And the Articuno, so yeah, I don't, I don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. I, I kind of want to go Corsola, but Corsola is going to be very important to me later on. I'm just going to hit the Rising Voltage and hope for the best. If you go Earth Power, I should be able to take an attack from you. At least one, come on. Yes, okay. Just as I thought, Rising Voltage is going to come out. Landorus is probably going to come out next. And I want to take that opportunity to go into Blastoise. That's what we're going to do. And I think that's a solid plan. Maybe not because the, the Zero Aura is in the back. <laughs> His team is so scary. It's highly scary. If Landorus comes out next, I'm going will o -Wisp no matter what once um, Pin Urchin gets knocked out. Lando comes out. A shiny Landorus at that. Beautiful. If we beat this OU team, I'm going to be so excited. I'm going to be highly excited. I mean, if I live, which I highly doubt, I'm going to go Toxic Spikes because I, I think it's worth for... My boy, you have no idea how scared I am right now. This is a hyper offensive team. I thought this Landorus was going to be defensive. I was highly wrong about that. Okay, we're going to go Hex. We're going to go Hex. Bulldoze lowers my speed, which is kind of huge. That's a really underrated move, in my opinion. I don't think I'm going to win this. I don't think I'm going to win this. I'm going to go Corsola here because we're going to Will-O-Wisp. That's the biggest thing. We're going to will o for obvious reasons. And then hit the Strength Sap next. That's the plan. Hopefully we can take an attack from this Lando. Fingers crossed we can. 
Rock slide, miss. Nope, it's not stab. It does basically nothing. Curse body disables it. And I flinch. That's the story of Daddy Mac within a weekly basis. I kid you not. The good news is I went for a strength sap and not a will-o-wisp. The speed sap don't, um, that don't phase me. I'm gonna gain all my health back because of this. Thank goodness. Landorus' attack falls. Landorus has a high attack stat, and I thought so. We're gonna will wisp here in case this thing wants to keep trying to go for the um, swords dance. Come on, Lando. You are not beating me today. Oh, that's a special attack. It does nothing. And I flinch again. Wow. Oh, welcome back to the gallery region, Daddy Mac. Bulldoze again. This, um, I should be able to do some damage to this Lando. Speed minus two. That don't, I don't really care about that. I'm really glad the Willow is pits though. I'm going to go for a strength up next and then I'm going to hit this thing with the curse. That is the plan. And I think it's a good plan at that. No longer disabled. I'm going to strain sap. Please do not flinch me. Okay? Please do not. Imagine this thing's holding a King's Rock, though. Does nothing. This, this flinches again. I, you know, now I'm starting to believe that this thing is holding a King's Rock. Unfortunately, I couldn't take advantage of that. So no terrain pulls for Blastoise. But I think we're setting up ourselves for success. Extrasensory again. If I flinch again, Chris body, okay. Straight up, okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. This is gonna be one of those battles that's gonna come down to the wire, I feel like. Thanks to Corsola. Thank you, Corsola. I think you're highly underrated. Now that all the other Pokemon are out, you're not gonna see a whole lot of usage, but you're still absolutely broken. Well, I wouldn't use the word broken. I think it's just overpowered. Overpowered is the right word. Rock slide again. I don't mind. It's not going to do anything to us. Just don't flinch me, please. Okay, thank you. There you go. This is the combo I've been wanting to use. Okay, so we cut our HP. We should be able to take any attack from this Landorus moving forward. And we're going to go for another strength zap here. There you go. This thing's going to get whittled down. Strength sap again because whatever he goes into next he has nothing but physical attackers except for Articuno Except for Articuno Rock slide again Daddy Mac got some um, got some luck back Look at this delicious nutritious you should switch out Lando You should switch out you still have a lot of attack Wow All right All right, um would I go to next? I have no idea. I have no clue. I think we just let Corsola in. Nightshade is next. Hmm. Make sure you guys drink your water. Make sure you guys drink your water. I'm a little tiny bit sick. Mostly with a slightly sore throat. This guy's gonna rage quit, isn't he? Rock slide. Missed again! That's what you get with all the flinches. It's balancing itself out. Nightshade takes this thing out. We're at full health. That means if Fermosa comes out, we should be able to take it out. Pinsir got the stone edge for the Articuno. Mmm. If this thing has freeze dry, I'm a little concerned. Pressure comes in. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Blastoise. I really don't think this thing can knock us out. The battle's gonna come down to Corsola. <laughs> I feel bad saying that too. Gotta check to see if it's not my girlfriend who's texting me and he's up with little Aria. Um, is Kitty in the room? I'll check, one second. Oh, okay. I was not expecting that. I'm gonna go Shell Smash here. I'm gonna take the opportunity. Go for a nasty freeze dry. It's running the freeze dry. Oh my goodness. That is terrible. That is uh, really upsetting. At least I outspeed. So this means that I can hit you with a hydro cannon. 
I have I put a lamp. I, I bought an Elgato lamp, a, a circle lamp. And I must say it works really, really good. I'm actually very proud of it. I'm gonna go for cannonade here. I think it's very important for us to go for the cannonade. And I think it's very important for us to Dynamax also, given that number one, it doubles our HP, so we'll be at 100 HP, and I believe we should be able to take at least one more freeze dry. I outspeed. So hopefully I'll be able to knock it out here shortly. Look at the beautiful Blastoise. This is the first time we've used Blastoise. You know what? We're probably going down. I hate to say it. We outspeed. Wow. That was beautiful. Too bad the substitutes in play. It's a, it's really it's a really I'm really upset that the substitute is in play. Freeze dry again. We're living it. We're living it. Okay. So now is Cannonade going to knock it out? I got a feeling it is. We're gonna go for it again. We're gonna go for it again. This battle is gonna this is for everything. <laughs> I got a feeling Pincer's gonna win it for us though. I'm pretty confident on Pincer. Another cannonade. This animation is so beautiful though. We got the knockout. We got the knockout. is probably gonna outspeed us though. I got a feeling it's going to outspeed us. Yeah, Pheromosa comes in, gets the poison, which is kind of huge. That thing is absolutely fast. I want to go for one more cannonade. We only got one more left anyways. I outspeed it. Thank goodness. If it's sashed, we'll be able to knock it out with the Vortex. It's not sashed. Blastoise, you beautiful Pokemon. This is going to be a Blastoise. I thought I was going to lose this battle too. <laughs> this guy has an overpowered team. Straight up OU, maybe ooh, borderline Uber. Zero is the last Pokemon in the team. I should be able to outspeed it, assuming, assuming you don't got fake out. Assuming it doesn't have fake out. Okay, we're gonna go for an Aura Sphere now that we don't got any more cannonades, and hopefully it knocks it out. Yup, no fake out. You know, that's why you gotta run fake out sometimes. Plasma Fist hits. Boom. Knockout. Okay. Somehow I'm okay with that. And the loser of Ion. Eon? Ion? I think it's e Eon, right? Look at this. We won it. Pinsir, all, all Pinsir has to do is come out, click Earthquake, and it's GG. One more. Earthquake. I almost clicked Stone Edge, and if I were to miss that, I'd be highly upset. I beat this team player guy. The battle was canceled. My boys, I just won the first Wi-Fi battle with this team to a really overpowered team. I'm excited. I'm happy because of it. But that's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. I'm taking a lead card because uh, this battle was awesome. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below on your vote for the most valuable Pokemon MVP. Just use hashtag MVP and let me know on the vote. I think it's Blastoise. Subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Mac. I'll see you guys next time.